Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 30, where we summon the possessed Hoglin into the game. Let's get into it and let's see how to set this thing up and do it yourself. Okay, let's get into this episode, guys. First thing I would like to do... Oh, I, I erased that previous summoning circle. I, I'm gonna probably find a small little area to set this up over here. But... Uh, I want to throw at least a couple of these trees. Alright. Uh, if we eat the dream fruit... Wait, wait, let's make sure we first have our uh, axe. Uh, three. There we go. Um, that's three. There we go. Put in this here. bit more of this. Okay, so some of this is just regular wood. Now we've got only three other wood and most of this is oak. Is there another way of getting <clears throat> other wood? It looks like if we want other wood, we're going to have to do lumber bees, so we might have to consider that if we're going to need a lot of that. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more, I have a feeling. Three by three of this stuff. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now that we've got this here, a second, because I needed to. That something over on my other screen. Uh, put away that. Put away that. Uh, wait. I'm. I should have gotten some more of those saplings done up. All right. So we should have enough of this. Uh, I'm gonna need some other stone, because we have to finish chalk it up. Okay, so we're going to need some other stone. Six of them. We can just toss that in there and go at occultism. There we go. We've got the three of those, or six of those, six of those. We can make two pure impure white chalk. Then we can take this, make a gold chalk, which we're going to need uh, gold dust. Okay. And we're going to need impure purple, which is going to need brushed in stone. Uh, which we don't have any. Not the crushed. It. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. So what we're going to need to do is, we did get this guy here, Sigmund. Sigmrid, and we can toss that down there, and he can take that, stomp it up a little bit. Wait, wait, 
until he gets done. We can toss the Inferium in here. Uh, toss that back. Uh, we need the Obsidian. Dust here. Uh, two pieces of Obsidian dust. Uh, okay. Why, thank you, good sir. You serve quite a masterful purpose here. We can make our uh, impure purple claw. Now, with that done, we can purify them with the fire that we got last episode. And we can go over here to getting started too, and pull over to the smithing template here. It says complete it up until you get to the chalk it up quest. We just did that. Now, once you are done, go find the Abras Commanding Con Conjurer Ritual in the Dictionary of Spirits under the Pinnacle tab. Okay, so we're, we're back over here. And there we go. Um, this is supposed to be able to summon a free. Okay, so let's see how big this is. Can we see it here? Do it looks a lot bigger than oh no 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 what did we just toss oh that would not have been good uh, say we stuck it here okay we can stick it there All right, so it needs some of these attuned crystals, which, uh, if I remember correctly, is just uh, four of these spirit attuned gems. So we're going to need a few of those. Autism. Okay, so we don't have any extras. Oh, but we do have these. Okay, uh, I think we need a total of four, so let's see here. One here. One here. One here. Okay, so... Jelly skulls. Okay, so do we have any normal skeleton skulls? No. Okay, so let's just let's start putting down the markings. I'm going to have to figure up a way to get Skelly Skull. So I have to think about this, what the best way is to get Skelly Skulls. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, after about uh, 10 minutes looking it up, I uh, found an easy way of doing this. We're going to take some bones over here. 
to our uh, dissolver and toss them in here. Uh, these will give us a 50% chance of getting three of these. Uh, to get the skulls, we need a total of eight per each. So we're going to need a total of eight times four, so 32 of these uh, made. What we'll do with these is take them go over here to the combiner, unlock the recipe, open this recipe. Uh, we're going to say skull. Okay. Now we're going to lock this recipe. I close the recipe selection. We're going to stick that in there. That should be enough now. And there we go. We got our four skeleton skulls. Uh, we'll just set these in the four spaces like so. And the last little bit is we're waiting on cows to spawn to get the uh, tallow or another uh, wandering trader. So just going to wait a little bit, see if one of these guys spawn, hopefully here soon. Because like wandering traders often spawn like at least once a day about noon. So. I will be back once the wandering trader spawns or we get cows. So be back shortly. Okay, guys. Um, I found a cheaty way to do this. We're going to make a solarium spawner here. Uh, I've, I've never made one of these. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so we've got this. We've got the machine frame here. Probably need another one of those here in just a second. So we've got the selenium spawner. What this will do is with uh, cow essences, we can get a cow spawn egg. To get a... Um cow essence, we're going to need cow seed. Okay, to get the cow seeds, we're going to need a selenium base here. Uh, some of these soul jars. I'm trying to see if we can see how to make soul jars. There we go. Uh, we're going to need four soul jars, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, and four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to need some of the soul dust, which comes from smooth soul sand, which comes from soul stone. Could get that from that. Uh, cobble soul stone. Her. Or an igneous extruder with water and lava with a solarium block underneath it. So let's make a solarium block. And here we currently have the obsidian, which is giving us a cap. We take this out. Uh, 
okay. And put the solarium block underneath it. Now this is making soul stone. Okay. We're going to need a lot of this soul stone, so might as well keep that going for a while. Not sure how much of this soul stone we're going to need. Uh, but this gets tossed into here. This makes smooth soul stone. And the smooth soul stone becomes soul dust, which gives us the ability to make the soul dark. Okay, so now we need the soul glass, which we're going to need some more soul dust. We're going to need a lot of soul dust. Let's uh, take this and one more. And uh, we're going to tell it not to add an output right now. Because I want to just collect it all and process it again right away. Now it can auto output again. Now, do we get enough for one soul jar so far? So, yeah, we've got enough for one soul jar. Uh, one, two, three. That's the second one. That's the third one. And that's the fourth one. We should have now enough to make the four soul jars that we need. They do not stack, so they're individual. But now we take these uh, to a soul extraction device. Okay. So like I said, we're going to need couple more of these to make the soul extraction device. A couple of these. So we're going to need four more of these. One, two, three, four. Malcor goes down a rabbit hole. He goes down hard and fast. Uh, just ignore that. All right, so this another stick make me a hundred sticks in a world where there's a need for many sticks Malcor has none okay there is the two of those and Again, two more of these. All right, there we go. The soul extractor. We set the soul extractor there. We can take a beef. Uh, raw beef here. Stick the stack of that in there. Put this in here. and we'll, We can watch this fill up here. It's going to take a little bit, so I will be right back once that is with all four of them. Okay, once those are all done, which we just got done, I want to teach this how to make uh, the the uh, essences here. 
Um, like, I want to teach it that recipe. And I'll, I'll just, I will be doing this off screen, but it'll, I'll get all, all of them uh, from Insanium down to the uh, Imperium Essence caught in there. And yeah, then we'll have it all done. Okay, so we place this here. Place these four jars here, yeah, and here. Uh, some prudentium essence there, and then we've got cow essence. Okay, so uh, I will also make uh, one of those machines over there for this. But for right now, I just want to test this out to see about getting one of these eggs. And like we need 12 of these. So let's get 24. That way, we can have at least two of the spawn eggs. Okay. Now, the Larium spawner, we can set, I'm going to set right here. Yeah, I knew it was going to take energy. We can put that there and not. Uh, it shows us a cow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. The cow went flying off of the ground. Okay, so so it's a good thing we did that. Uh, now we need the... The... Uh, Butcher knife, yeah. We got us some uh, tallow here. So now we can make candles with this tallow. Okay, we've got eight more candles. We only needed six, so this kind of cool. Okay, so this is saying it's done. But now, we need to look in here at this, the smithing table. It requires a total of eight of uh, these uh, one things, and we need an Afrit bound book. So, uh, let's get four more sacred bowls made. Two, three, four, and a freet. Um, which is a book of binding a freet. A taboo book, which we remember how to make a taboo book. So let's see here. Uh, paper. Okay. Uh, with the bum, bum, bum. leather, we get we'll get a couple of taboo books made. All right, um, we need some purified ink, so uh, black dye. We're going to get a couple of these guys. Okay, so there we go. Now we need the purple dye. Uh, we're going to need eight of these guys. 
And then, yes, I, I know I keep saying this like I'm doubling up the recipe. Yes, I am. Okay, so we've got this uh, book of a freak. We're going to have two books of a freak. Uh, and to bind it, we put the one book and this. And now we've got the bound book of a freak. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I see the eight locations for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now, uh, to do the summonings, I'm going to mark this here. Okay. We're going to need uh, netherite scraps and three raw pork chops. So raw pork chops. One, two, three. Netherite scraps. Okay, so what's the next bit that we're going to need? A leather, two netherite. Leather, uh, two netherite, uh, netherrack. Uh, how do we get netherrack? We're going to have to actually make that as a item that we are going to have downstairs. Uh, combining witch water and lava. We have witch water. Yes. All right. Um, give me a bucket here. Take this out. We'll take this and. Now that made blackstone. What is it? Yeah, that makes blackstone, not netherrack. Uh Hmm. I thought it was redstone with that. No, no. Um, maybe if we make another bucket and Get a stone barrel. Yes, this is a bad rabbit hole that Malcor has gone down. Just to do this. We set this here. Okay. Put that in there. Okay, so the first thing has to be netherrack. Than that, or the witch water. Okay, so witch water first. Okay, so the, so now we remember. The, we'll remember that uh, we need a spiritus tuned crystal, and um, at Cultism. We need a spirit attuned crystal as one of these items. Okay, still. 
Spirit Attuned Crystal, Netherrack, three Pork Chops, Leather, and two of those, and this Bound Book of the Afrit. And while that is being made, we're going to go and make a uh, what type of jar is it? What type of jar is it? A containment jar. That That's what we need. A containment jar. Uh, do, 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 do. And we're going to test something out with those guys. Okay, this is going to take a bit. And the best way to do this is to uh, right click time in a bottle on the uh, sacrificial jar will go up to 256. See all these very fast particle effects. I'm hoping that we just did not waste almost an hour on this. Um, what do, what do we need to do? What are we not doing here? Uh, oh, sacrifice pig. Okay, so we need pig. Uh, Give me one second. I will make a big one of these, and I will be right back to finish this up. All right. Uh, after I made the seeds, captured them, we're going to drop this guy down here. We're going to take this uh, butcher thing. Do it. There we go. That's already starting the, the sucking in the stuff. So we have the mob yoinker here for this guy. What I want to do is put a, uh, 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 um, item up here for the what you call it it's the the thing that we're going to get from the hoglin the, the possessed hoglin okay so we've got the possessed hoglin Ha ha! You will go into there. Okay, so now that we've got the best toggling in this, we'll give it to the uh, Drakmees here. They love new things. And uh, we'll, we'll just check here in just a few seconds to see uh, if we get uh, anything from him. Okay, literally as I just hit the uh, in record button on my thing, it produced the smithing template snout armor trend. Uh, we're also getting netherite scraps from him. I can't remember 
So, so we're going to get netherite scraps. We're going to get uh, smithing template snout trims from him. Uh, we should also get the smithing template uh, netherite upgrade. So I will be back once uh, they produce one of those. And just about uh, 10 minutes later, we've got our first smithing template. It's always useful to know eggs. All right, so uh, we've got the smithing template uh, trim here, guys. So I think this is a good spot to end this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what was your favorite part or least favorite part? And uh, until next time. Later, Gators.